So OnePlus 5 is heading off with their particular extraordinary phone OnePlus 5 with their high-end 6 Snapdragon 635 SoC but there are many rumors that it's a copycat company it becomes a literal copy of the iPhone 7 Plus because of the two rear cameras in the back portion of this phone and many other things so today we're going to discuss about it's really a copycat company or it's trying something innovative for us so hey Z Shaw Novel and you're watching Paddock let's get started It comes with two RAM and storage variants, one is 664 and 8 128 variant. So you can pick one of these, the 664 is cost around 33,000 and the 8128 is cost around uh, 37,000 almost. And it comes with a 5.5 inch full HD AMOLED display with the two cameras, one is 16 and one is 20 megapixels. The front camera is heading out with a 7, a 16 megapixel as usual you can see in OnePlus 3 and 3. In this phone, the main highlight of this phone is the rear camera backside. And you can also find a little bit lower the OnePlus logo. And the most important thing is the 3.5 mm jack doesn't remove tear as you can see. So coming up next the question mark that it is that's a copy of the iPhone 7 Plus. Literally, in the back side, it takes a little bit same look, but it's not the same when you turn around the entire phone. It's pretty different, but there is another phone, Oppo R11, is literally looked like the same. But the one thing which I have to tell you is that if you're copying something like camera and the hardware constructions from the very high-end variant phone in just literally a low-cost price so it's absolutely okay in my eyes but if you're copying some softwares like Apple Siri, Google Succession so then this is quite cheaper I guess but when it comes to hardware in a, such a low price it's absolutely okay in case I'm not happy with the color variant which one plus providers there is one is black and one is almost black and the most important thing of this phone is the charger the dash charger is still available here you can find a fast charging 5 volts and 4 amperes finally when it comes to its camera it has two camera in back side one is 16 megapixel primary shooter and the second one is 20 megapixel telephoto shooter and you can also find many of the options like the portrait mode and etc in this particular OnePlus device. Basically all the usual sensors you can also find in this particular phone and the metal body unit design make this phone more decent look and spectacular. Finally, when it comes to the SOC which is Snapdragon 635 uh, I'm not heading out with the, any kind of benchmark scores because there are still some issues with the OnePlus devices. There is OnePlus 3, OnePlus 3 g and OnePlus 5 with this particular benchmark scores and what else. So, in case I am find something interesting, the OnePlus 5 SoC has done quite smoother than the Samsung Galaxy S8 Exynos processor has done. But, you know, speed is not everything. So, so OnePlus 5 miss here is the IP67 certification of waterproofing and the final bezel-less display which we all expecting in OnePlus 5, Google Pixel 2 and iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So finally we are heading in the end of this video and here is a true opinion of mine is if you have a sufficient budget like 30,000 and etc. So you can go with the OnePlus 3 and 3T because the most difference of these two phones from the OnePlus 5 is the rear camera. Without the rear camera is concerned, there's nothing major difference I'm finding here. So, and if you have a little extra budget of 3,000, 
and whatever, you can go with the OnePlus 5 to this device. And I strongly recommend you to not to upgrade OnePlus 3G from OnePlus 5. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this video is helpful to you, do let me know in the comment section and smash this like button if you liked it. And please hit that subscribe button to get more interesting and knowledgeable cool videos like this. Here is Sharnavo, Joe and Tadok and till you get a good day.